Good morning, this is Andrew Mount for Gigi. It's Thursday, the 2nd of January, and uh, I'm here in Studio Brown in William Hill Towers, uh, ahead of day two of my William Hill radio stint. Now, um, we've got action from Linkfield and Air this afternoon. Join us live from 11.35, and there's also a meeting at Chelmsford tonight. Now, there's some very good racing there, including a Class 2 5 furlong handicap at 5.30, and that's the first of two bets I've got for you. Now, uh, the pace angle here is watchable, and there'll be plenty who like his chances of making all in this small field, but given the way Adam Kirby's been riding of late, I'm happy to let him go at a shortish price. Instead, I'm siding with Savalis for Robert Cowell. This one's got the plum drawer in store one. He's only had three goes for his current trainer after leaving Kevin Ryan's care, and he really caught the eye over course and distance two runs back, finishing second by a head to acclaim the nation. The winner made all that day, and Savalis was best of those uh, to come from off the pace, clocking a fast time in the process. Things didn't work out, upped in grade at Wolverhampton next time. He was drawn wide, he was carried right, and uh, I think we can forgive that. And uh, He's certainly open to improvement on Polytrack, and uh, round about 5-1, to one, Savalis is the call to beat uh, Watchable here. Now, uh, moving on to the 6.30, we've got another small field event, but a very intriguing one. And we could have a vulnerable favourite here in the shape of Sunfire Coast. Now, Derek Shaw's charge is a horse I'm a big fan of. However, he needs a strong pace to run his best. And it's no coincidence that five of his six course wins have come in fields of ten or more runners. So with only um, six runners and... Uh, uh, a frantic pace unlikely, I think uh, he's vulnerable, so around about 3-1 to one, I'm taking him on. The one to do it with is Lion Hearted for the Mick Appleby Yard. He's not been seen since April, but has form when fresh. He won on his stable debut after a break of several months uh, here in January of last year, one of several um, uh, wins for the yard. Now, he's had eight goes on uh, Polytrack or Tapita for Mick Appleby. He's won seven of those, the defeat coming last time out when he blew the start and was reportedly unsuited by the tight bend at Lingfield. So back at Chelmsford after a break, Lionhearted here is taken to make all. And uh, again, he's run about four to one. So that's it from me until tomorrow. Two bets for you today. Uh, Chelmsford 5.30, Savalis and Chelmsford 6.30, Lionhearted. Best of luck if you're having a bet. Cheers.